um, normalizing LGBTQ folks, including us in all stories. So that's the other piece that I think is really important. And we've worked really closely with Hollywood on this. It sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. The Naked Communist illustrates two rules that touch on this. The first rule is number 20, and it reads, infiltrate the press, get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, policy making positions. And rule 21 reads, gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. Essentially what that means is that if communists have full control over all aspects of media, entertainment, politics, education, they can essentially control public opinion. We are all connected in the LGBTQ community, so we would help you find the right people on the ground to advise you in that culture. It's really important that you're acting within the culture that you're in and you're speaking within the culture that you are. But, um, and I think it's imp what you mentioned about getting ahead of it instead of coming behind it. Pause. Mm -hmm. um, and understanding the cultural landscape and playing out from a PR standpoint what's going to could happen or not happen. Um, but you have to do it. All right, so rule 26 in the Naked Communist reads the following. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. Like the, the, our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like, my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like, I, I feel like I felt like it was, I mean, like maybe it was that way in the past, but I guess like something must have happened in the last, like, like they are turning it around, they're going hard. And then all that like momentum that I felt like that sense of, I don't have to be afraid to like, let's have these two characters kiss. Let's in the background, this are, like I was just, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like, the, if you see anything queer in the show, I'm proud of them. But like, I, I just was like, no one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. Back off, ya spooky bitch. <laughs>